Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 2nd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and thank you for joining us here today, giving you your space weather update. Yesterday, I was noting a large plasma filament in the bottom right-hand side, so southeast region of our sun, and I was hoping that it would stay connected, but just recently, it did let loose. You can see it there, 304 angstroms. Now, looking at the last 48 hours incoming, lots of plasma on the surface of our heliosphere right now, big incoming sunspot, and as well some active fiery regions incoming. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, a couple Earth-facing sunspots that have fired up overnight, and we did see a C-class flare. Looking here at the images just before this CME coronal mass ejection, large plasma filament was that dark rope that was stretching out from the surface after the CME just north of it. So that filament did let go. Looking here at the last 48 hours, you'll see it in the last image as well, noting the active region that is incoming. Closer look at the CME coronal mass ejection as well. C-class solar flare to report here for your space weather update. A couple closer looks at the event. I want to take a moment to thank everybody for tuning in to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Quick little space weather update for you. We will be giving you a full world update tonight. Space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and full world weather forecast. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss an update. YouTube does not like to notify all of my over 50,000 followers. So it'd be nice to see everybody in there for a premiere. I want to thank everybody. Yesterday, there was over 160 people in premiere. I appreciate you all. Much love and great team spirit do crew having a look here at the iswa space prediction spiral this is the event that shot out coronal mass ejection and you can see it is on its way to our planet looking to be about june 5th as entry point and it could last up to two days so we had our event yesterday solar x-ray flux here showing that C-class solar flare and a couple B-class solar flares still remains down in the B range. Solar X-ray flux. And then earthquakes. Now there was reported a 630 kilometer depth earthquake this morning in Fiji. For some reason, it's gone here on USGS. Now I wanted to report it, give you all a heads up because we could see a large earthquake coming soon. And I'm a bit concerned with California Definitely going to, be going to be keeping an eye on California today because there's a minor swarm occurring east of San Francisco. As well, notable there, Pacific Rise, earthquake 5.4 this morning. Give you a quick look here at USGS, showing you the earthquakes east of San Francisco Bay Area. And it started out with a 4.1 Bay Point, California. So heads up, my friends and family from around the world. We could see a large one today. USGS might be hiding that very deep earthquake because we know what happens when they come. Larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.